How do you accurately map tall buildings or hard to reach places? Well, you do it with a lot of cool technology. Hi, I'm Dr. Staffan from CSIRO and today I'm going to show you Hovermap. Hovermap is a device based on the Zebedee technology, which you may have seen before on Scope. Zebedee is a handheld version of the mapping technology, while Hovermap has one pretty cool addition, a UAV. But the basics of this technology are pretty similar. They both use a LiDAR or light radar. This sends out a beam thousands of times a second, which bounces off objects back to the device, giving us a picture of what the environment looks like. Zebedee used a spring that let the device swing back and forth to give a full image of the environment. Whereas the hover map uses a spinning motor to give its LiDAR a full 360 degree field of view of the surroundings. The spherical scan means it can build an accurate map of what is above, below or all around the UAV while it's moving. After mapping a structure, I can view an image of it and also tell exactly how tall or wide any part of it is. And this lightweight unit can be mounted to any UAV ready to map. Once it's up and mapping, the LiDAR can reach distances of 30 meters inside or 20 meters outside, which makes it perfect for lots of different mapping scenarios. The built-in logging computer logs the information to a USB stick while it's flying, and then after the flight, I upload the data to our servers for processing. With the help of software developed by CSIRO called SLAM, or Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, algorithms are applied to the raw data, producing maps that we end up with. And this technology can be used in a lot of different fields, from mapping and measuring tall infrastructure and buildings to going underground into mines. It can also be used for mapping inside buildings or under structures like bridges. Hover map can even be used by the police to map crime scenes in 3D. But our next step in this project is to make the UAV completely autonomous. To do this, we use the LiDAR to provide it with intelligence so it can safely fly close to structures and decide for itself where to explore next. But as it stands, this amazing hover map technology is ready to take mapping to new heights. 